Now we often use variables when programming and, as I've explained in another video, a variable is simply a name and identifier to which different values, that's varying values, can be assigned during the execution of a program. But sometimes you don't want a value to be changed and that's when you might want to use a constant. Here's an example, it's my simple tax calculator. Now up here I've got something called tax rate. It looks like a variable, it's had an assignment made to it, that's 0 0.175, but it's been preceded by the reserved word const. So that makes it a constant. This is the C-sharp language, but you'll find similar capabilities to de define constants in many other languages, many other C-like languages, Pascal, and so on. In Ruby, this is my tax calculator, and up here, tax rate, it doesn't have the keyword const in front of it, but when I declare something with an uppercase initial in Ruby, Ruby regards it as a constant. In fact, many people, when they program in whatever language they're using, like to declare constants in uppercase. That isn't always obligatory, but it's a common convention. When something is a constant, it cannot be changed. So, unlike a variable where I could, for example, assign a value to subtotal and subsequently calculate a different value and assign that, I can't do that with a constant. If I try it in C-sharp, let's see what happens. You can see there's a red squiggly and I get an error message. It says the left-hand side of an assignment must be a variable, property or indexer. I cannot assign a new value to a constant, it won't let me compile it. Now, not all languages are that strict about constants. In fact, Ruby isn't. Although it regards tax rate, which has been declared using a capital, as a constant, it in fact allows me to change it. So here I'm changing it to another value in Ruby. So let's see what happens when I run this. So here it's prompting me to enter some tax, enter 100. And look, it gives me a warning. It says, warning, already initialized, uh, let's scroll that so you can read it, already initialized constant tax rate. But having issued the warning, it goes and uses it anyway. I wouldn't be able to do that in C-sharp. C-sharp is much more rigorous. When it sees a constant, it absolutely refuses to let me change the value. Ruby gives me a get out. It lets me change it anyway. But in most cases, that defeats the object of the exercise. Usually, when you define a constant, you do not want it to be changed. So even in Ruby, when you see a constant being redefined, you should really rewrite your program. If you're using it as a variable, write it as a variable. If you want it to be a constant, you should not change its value. Uh, another place where constants are sometimes useful is when they're supplied as part of the class library or framework that you're using with whatever programming language you happen to be writing your programs in. For example, here's an example in Ruby. In the math module, the pi constant is declared. Well, pi always has a fixed value. You don't want to be changing the, the value of pi. And when I run this, you can see it just displays that value. So that's another place where you'll often see constants in programming languages.